Hello friends, I'm Varun Vora and welcome to my channel IT with Varun Vora to master the IT risk, IT audit, IT security and IT compliance fundamentals and concepts not available in any book or over the web. Friends, as part of our ITGC journey, I already have over 150 videos related to various ITGC categories and control areas across application, server and database layers with a new video every week making it the most trusted channel and resource to build or advance your career in IT audit, IT security, IT SOCs, IT risk and IT compliance. Friends, we'll continue the operations ITGC category under which today we'll understand how to test incident and problem management for Linux and Unix server. So let's dive into the, the steps. The first key step is the request. So for incident and problem management testing, what we need is the list of all incident tickets or service requests or work orders. They can be called by any or all of these different names. We need these tickets logged related to the Linux and Unix server. And most of these tickets will come from a ticketing tool like ServiceNow or Remedy for a specific assessment period, which can be anything like six months, one year and so on. Some examples of Linux and Unix server related incidents or service requests or work orders are failed schedule jobs, any sort of network interface issues, um, the CUPS network printing issues, Samba file service issues, grub bootloader errors, driver failures, backup failure, any sort of performance issue or other hardware errors. So these are some examples which will constitute most of the incident tickets or service requests or work orders related to a Linux or Unix server. So once we have the listing of all incident tickets for a specific assessment period, we can either go for full population or sample testing based on the risk in the environment. 